finally tonight from here in Manchester, you can see the vigil here behind me as we stand here in Albert Square, where thousands came here today to send the attacker a message. Tonight, a message from Manchester, we are strong, as stories of heroism now come to light. Like Paula Robinson, hailed as the angel of Manchester. This big explosion just, just went off. So we came out the fire exit, and as we came out, we were directly at the bottom of the steps to the arena. She saw crowds of teenage girls running from that arena. I just shouted, everyone just make your way to the Holiday Inn. Bringing dozens of young girls to safety at a nearby hotel and calling their parents for them. Then I put on social media, everyone make your way there. If you're missing children, I've got children there. There are other stories emerging too here. Cab drivers who offered free rides to get children, young people out quickly. God only knows what these people are feeling like. And there's the hashtag room for Manchester. Hundreds of residents near the arena offering shelter, food, comfort. We only live around the corner, yes. so we we're just going to see if anyone wanted somewhere to sit that was warm. Today, the young people here telling me they will move forward. How do you process what, what, what happened here? Um, haven't really. Um, you know, it's horrible, but it's got to get on with it, haven't you? And there was the little boy wearing the tie and what his mother told us, hoping the future will be better for her sons. What do you hope? just hope the world gets better for him as he grows up and people can start to learn that it's, this isn't going to change the way people live. We all hope for that. Thank you for watching here on a Tuesday night. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you here tomorrow.